The first function is a simple minimization function. The function is f equal to x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square and the search domain is minus infinity to plus infinity. That means x can vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. Similarly, y can also vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. The solution of this problem is 2, 3. That means positive 2 and positive 3. I have also shown here the surface plot as well as the control plot of this function. And you can see uh, from the control plot that the solution of this problem is uh, 2 and 3. So somewhere this is the minimum point. So we will solve this problem using Excel solver. So I will show you how you can solve this problem using Excel solver. Let us solve the problem using Excel solver. So before solving the problem, you just check whether solver is installed or not. So you go to data and just see on the right hand side the solver should be there. And if it is not there, then you go to file and then you go to option and then you go to add-ins and then uh, just go to manage Excel add-ins. So you click on go and then you should select solver add-in. So it's in my case, it is already selected. So then you click OK, then solver should be here. Now let us define the problem. So we have two variables. So I'm writing here X and Y. So you have to start with an initial solution. So I am considering 0 and 0. So this is uh, my initial solution. Now let us define the function that is f of x, y. So which is equal to x. So you select the x cell minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square for x equal to 0 y equal to 0 the function value is 13 and I would like to minimize this function using Excel solver so you go to solver now you have to tell the solver about your problem uh, let us see the different fields the first is you have to select the objective cell. So in this case, the C4 is the objective cell. So I'm defining here, this is the objective cell. And then you have to tell the solver whether you want to maximize the function, you want to minimize the function, or you want to go for a particular value. So in our case, uh, this is a minimization function. So I am selecting minimization. Then you have to tell solver what are the changing cells? So in this case, I would like to change these two cells. So I'm selecting here, that is C2 and C3. So I have defined my objective, I have defined my changing cell. Then I do not have any constraint. So if I have any constraint, so I can add here. So in this particular problem, there is no constraint. Then I have to select the algorithm. So here by default GRG nonlinear algorithm is selected. So but you have some other algorithm also if you are solving a linear problem then you can use simplex method. So in this case I will use GRG nonlinear. Now you can go to option if you want to set some of the parameter of this uh, algorithm. So I can I can define some of the parameter like maximum time, then number of iterations, so that I can define here. And similarly, algorithm specific parameter also you can define. But I'm not defining here, so I will use the default value. Now everything is said here. So now you can solve the problem by clicking the solve button. So let us click. So you can see that solver found a solution. So this message has been displayed. So solver found a solution. That means you got a solution. And you can see that uh, x value is now 2 and y value is 3. And that is the solution of this problem. 
and f value is uh, 6.2 to the power minus 16 that means it's almost zero so ideally it should be zero but you will not get zero but it's a very small value near to zero now you can generate a report uh, so go to answer so i would like to generate uh, an answer report so then you click ok so a report has been generated so you can see that uh, the report is saying about what type of algorithm you have used suppose in our case we have used grg nonlinear then solution time iteration then what option you have set uh, for solver so these are the option in this case we have used the default value and you can see that uh, the function value it was 13 initially and then final value is 6.1992 to the power minus uh, 16 then x value is initially it was 0 then final value is 1.999 and that is uh, 2 and y value is initially it was 0 then of, uh, final value is 2.999 that means 3 and we do not have any constraints so therefore nothing has been written so it's written none but if you have any constraint so information about the constraint violation and constraint value will also be generated given here So we have solved the problem using Excel solver. As you have seen, the solver is quite powerful and we can easily solve an optimization problem using Excel solver. The second problem is relatively a complex problem. This function has four optimal solutions and, and the function is f equal to x square plus y minus 11 whole square plus x plus y square minus 7 whole square. The source domain is minus 5 to plus 5 and that means x is varying from minus 5 to plus 5 and similarly y can vary from minus 5 to plus 5. I have shown here the surface plot as well as the contour plot and you can see from both the plot that there are four optimal solutions. So this problem is relatively difficult to solve because if you are applying the gradient based source algorithm the algorithms are very sensitive to the initial solution so therefore depending upon the initial solution you have chosen you will get one of these solutions so i will show you how you can solve this problem using excel solver and how sensitive uh, to the initial solution as i said that if you send your initial solution you will get different optimal solution so this function has four alternate optimal solution that means the function value at the minimum point uh, is zero okay but uh, it has different optimal solution so we'll solve this problem using excel solver and you can see by changing the initial solution you will get different optimal solution let us solve the second problem So I am defining the problem here. So this problem has two variables as I say this is x and y. We also need to say the initial solution. So let us start with 0, 0. So I, I am putting 0 for x and 0 for y. And then I am writing the function here. The function is x square so this is x and x square plus y so this is y cell minus 11 whole square plus x plus y square minus 7 whole square so I am getting 170 that means for x equal to 0 y equal to 0 the function value is 170 so let us solve the problem using the solver so go to data and then you click on solver so in this case uh, again you have to define what is your objective cell so 
here objective cell is C4 so I am defining here and the changing cell and the changing cells are C2 and C3 and we do not have any constraint so we are using GRG nonlinear so we are not changing the option value then directly I can go, uh, go uh, now I can click the solve button to solve this problem so let us solve it so solver has found a solution and you can see so we are getting 3 2 that means we are getting the first solution so for initial solution 0 0 the solver has obtained 3 2 that is the first solution and as I said this problem has total 4 solution these are all alternate optimal solution and you can obtain this alternate optimal solution by changing your initial solution so before that uh, let us see the report so I can click on answer and just click ok and then report is generated here so just like the earlier problem so it is written that GRG nonlinear algorithm has been used then time taken is 0 0.047 iteration is 8 and then solver option has been defined so whatever so we didn't uh, change any solver option so we have used the default value and then objective cell it was initial is 170 so initial so initial objective function value and finally it is 1.97442 into 10 to the power minus 12 so it's almost 0 so x value was initially 0 and then final value is 3 and then y is uh, it was uh, 0 initially and final value is 3 and there were no constraints so it is written none let us see that by changing the initial solution whether we are getting the other optimal solution or not so let me try with minus 5 and minus 5 so in this case because we are allowing the variable to be non-negative so therefore we have to uncheck this one and then let me solve it so we are getting a solution so now we are getting minus 3.77 okay so we got the third solution so let me try with a different initial solution suppose 5 and then minus 5 now you solve it just see so now we are getting a different solution which is 3.5844 and minus 1.4881 that means the fourth solution we got it and let me check with uh, the another solution that we are yet to get that means this is minus 5 this is minus 5 and this is plus 5 So now we are getting the second solution uh, that is minus 2.8051 and, and 3.1313. So we are getting the second solution. So that means by sensing the initial solution, so I can obtain the other alternate optimal solution. So as I have explained, the problem has multiple alternate solution and so this solution is highly sensitive to initial solution and if you are changing your initial solution then you will get different optimal solution the third problem is a constraint minimization problem so i would like to show you how you can use excel solver for solving a constraint problem so here the function is f equal to 1 minus x whole square plus 100 y minus x square then whole square then the constraint is x square plus y square minus 2 less than equal to 0 the search domain is x is varying from minus 1.5 to plus 1.5 and y is varying from 
minus 0.5 to 2.5. The constraint solution of this problem is 1, 1, that means x equal to 1, y equal to 1, and the function value at optimal point is 0. I have also shown here the surface plot as well as the control plot of this particular function and I will show you how you can solve this problem using Excel solver. So let us now solve the third problem. The third problem is a constraint optimization problem. It's, let us define the problem. So we have two variable that is x and y. So I am just writing and I am starting with an initial solution again 0 and 0 and then let us define the objective function. So objective function x y uh, is equal to 1 minus x. So x is this cell. So it is 1 minus x whole square. Okay then plus 100 into y so y is c3 minus x square then whole square okay so this is the objective function value so for 0 0 the value is 1 now I have to define the constraint also. So I have to get the value of constraint function. So here this is z x y. So which is equal to x square plus y square minus 2. So the, the value is minus 2. Now let us go to solver and set this problem. So here the objective function is C4, then it's a minimization problem. Then by changing C2 and C3, so now we have to define a constraint. The constraint, so you go to add constraint and define. So this is the constraint and it is less than equality type so you have lot of option here suppose less than equality equality then greater than equality then other uh, options are there so in this case our constraint is less than equality type so i'm selecting this and the value is zero that means it is less than zero z x y is less than zero so we have added that one so now it's okay So now I have, I have defined the constraint here. You can see that, that C5 is less than 0. So I am using ZRG nonlinear here again. And, and I am also not changing the option value. So whatever default value uh, we have, so that I am using here. So then go to solve button and just click the solve button to solve the problem. So solver has found a solution. So you can see the solution is 1, 1. Then as I said that for this problem, solution is 1, 1 and objective function value is 0. So here I'm getting uh, this is 9.26 into 10 to the power minus 15. So that is the value. So here you will not get 0, but there will be a small value near to 0. And constraint has been satisfied. So constraint should be less than equal to 0. And this is you are getting uh, minus 5.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 so that you are getting and this is also less than equal to equal to 0 so you can see the report here so just see the report so you go to report and again this has been defined what algorithm we have used then solution time iteration that has been defined then solver options has been defined so we didn't change any option so we have used the default option and then you can see that objective function value initially it was 1 and finally it is 9.26 into 10 to the power minus 15 and then x value it was 0 initially and final value is 1 then y value it was 0 and final value is 1 
and you can also see then in earlier case that there was no constraint but in this ca case the constraint value is less than or equal to zero it has also been shown and so we got the solution of this problem so this is the final solution and you can also check by changing this initial solution suppose if i start with initial solution of 5 and 5 so that also you can check so i will use the solver again then just solve it yes i am getting the solution now this is 1 1 and this is 0 0 so solution is x equal to 1 y equal to 1